Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you like a more traditional road bike, then this one will tick that box for you. Uh, my good buddy John has taken a hiatus from riding and he used to work with me at a bike shop back in about 1999. And he has decided to start cycling. Hooray John. And wants a bike that rides a little more or mimics kind of what we would have been selling and riding. So he went on the hunt for some parts that he thought would be really cool for him. And what he ended up with is a Ritchie Logic frame, uh, Ultegra 12 seed group set. And we're gonna give it kind of more of that classic look with some gum wall tires and uh, the classic bar tape saddle finish. So uh, this one will take me back a little bit. Um, it's always kind of fun for me to build these bikes that uh, I kind of cut my teeth on. So here we go. It's always important whenever you're building a steel bike that you prep it with some steel frame protector. Uh, this is an anti-corrosion spray that, uh, or anti-rust spray that I'll spray inside the tubes uh, and then plug it and it'll sit for 24 hours. I hope you liked my sound effects because I actually did this two days ago. Ceramic speed for the win again.
For those of you watching right now, just know that I didn't bring these spacers in, John did. And that's what the person who sold him the frame sent with it. I'm sure that once we have a conversation, we'll clean those up and get, probably get some Chris King or something that looks really nice on there. But for now, they'll get the job done. No final torque yet until we get the bike mocked up. So John wanted to go old school on this build, keep it traditional looking. So, you know, he had to do those Chris King hubs with an aluminum rim, aero spokes, but to do it just right, you know, you got to have gum sidewalls. So GP5000 GP and gum wall, it's going to look nice. Hot patch always lines up with valve stem.
remember y'all, no tire levers.
When working on classic bikes with mechanical brakes and mechanical shifting, one way that I like to size my cable length is to mock up where I'm going to be putting it in the frame stop and turn the bars until they just don't contact right there on the top tube because if the worst should happen and you have a really bad crash it's better to pull tension on this cable than it is for them to slap the bar and it's it, you know it'll give you that really clean short cable look too um, so a lot of people are like worried about being able to turn the bars all the way and my response to that is you don't want your bars to turn all the way that's a crash and uh, you can save yourself some damage on the frame if that cable binds first so keep that in mind
Perfect. Just boiling off the last of, uh, so I've degreased it, alcohol prepped it, simple greened it, rinsed it, and now I'm just boiling off the very last bit of the factory lube that might be still stuck on it. Got to get it real clean uh, before we put it in the wax pot. Once I pull it out of here, I'll take it over to the air compressor, blow it out real good, and then I'll dip it in the wax. Okay, now that that's been sitting for five or ten minutes, uh, I'm going to pull it out. But before I do, every good waxing station should have a fan. Uh, that way it helps dry it when you get it out. So, here we go. It's going to drip for a minute. You can use your lid to kind of catch that wax. Because whenever you heat the pot back up, it's just simply going to drop back into the bucket there. All right, I'm getting close to the end. I'm about to wrap the bars. And you know if I'm going to wrap the bars, I'm going to finish that tape real skinny. So before I start wrapping the bars, I always like to uh, get my pieces cut, my finishing tape pieces cut ahead of time. And that way I'm ready to go when I get to the end of my bar wrap. So I just lay my electrical tape out, give it a little score mark, and then peel that sucker up. And that's one side. And there's the other. And then I will come back and get some ESI tape and lay that over the top of those electrical pieces. That way it never comes undone. 